welcome to high school basketball tonight. What an incredible matchup from the Northwest Conference as we are here at Delta Jefferson High School as the Lady Wildcats take on the Columbus Grove Bulldogs in a Northwest Conference matchup that has a lot on the line, including a shared conference championship. My name is John Zerby. Beside me tonight, Josiah Stover. Josiah, great game ahead of us tonight. Yeah, as you said, both teams fighting for that co-championship, as we can assume with Crestview. Uh, both teams coming into this game, their only league loss has been to that Crestview Knights team. So both teams, you know, a lot to play for tonight. Should be a good one. Take a quick look at the starting lineups for Columbus Grove. They'll start number two, Lauren Ockmoody. She's averaging a little over 20 points a game. Ruth Myers in the starting lineup. Kendall Palti, Abby Stecksholdy, and Nicole Nesby. They're coached by Brian Schrader. 16 and four this year. Schrader's been here 11 years, 201 total wins in his career, and uh, letting lead them to a 16 and four record so far. For the Jeff Cats, Maddie Burris. Olivia Lindemann, 20, averaging 23 points a game. Carolyn Mueller, Lauren French. And uh, this team is uh, poised and ready to go. And finally, Kirsten Moore rounding out the starting lineup. Coached by Denise Lindemann. They're 18 and three. She's in her fifth year with over 90 wins for her. What a great uh, group of coaches that we have here tonight as well. Yeah, both, team, both coaches have a lot of experience. Uh, they know each other very well. You know, a lot of the conference championships have come down to between either these two schools or Crestview in the mix also. So both teams ready to go here on the tip. So we'll start it off. The Jeff Cats hang on to it first. They get the tip and it's gonna be quickly a triple try by Maddie Burris. She's a little long on that one, but Delphus Jefferson's gonna maintain possession. Some things that we should be looking at matchup wise tonight, Josiah. Yeah, well, you've already talked about it. You know, the two players from each team, you know, Liv Lindemann here with the ball, number 15, as you said, comes in shooting 20, at 23 points per game. That one just rolls out. And for this Columbus Grove team with the ball is Lauren Ockmoody, as you said, over 20 points a game. Both, you know, really good players, both first team players in this conference. So it should be a battle. We'll see if they eventually get matched up against each other tonight. It's a, kind of the crazy thing is that both teams, like you said, dominated by one person. And you know, there's others there tonight. You know, Lauren French for the Jeff Cats, Nicole Nesby for the Bulldogs, uh, contributing as well. But it's going to be a great matchup between two of the best players in the Northwest Conference as we see Ockmoody just a little long on that triple try. We've seen Lindemann and Ockmoody try triple so far. Jefferson quickly down the floor. This is Kirsten Moore controlling the basketball over to Lauren French. French gets it to Lindemann, going to set things up for the Jeff Cats. Yeah, Lindemann and Akhmudi, very complimentary of each other. Both shoot the ball very well from outside. Both rebound for their team, lead their team in assists. So, um, you know, all around great basketball players, you know, and that's just on the offensive end. Both very good defenders as well. Jefferson being patient with the basketball. Burris tries the triple, misses. Good rebound by Ock Moody. She is on the move. Ock Moody to the hole. Misses just a little bit long. But Bella Wilson there, excuse me, is there for the putback for the Columbus Grove Bulldogs. Excuse me, that would have been Kendall Palti. Kendall Palti, yes. yep. Well, quickly, you want to see, you see Columbus Grove getting that basketball and up the floor, and Lindemann is not afraid to shoot the basketball. No, it's very interesting. You know, Columbus Grove coming out in that 2-3 zone, very similar to what Crestview did against this Jefferson team, really forcing Liv Lindemann to give that ball up early and trying to find some other offense for this Wildcats team. So Aukman, gets it to Nesby. Grove moving the basketball around. Hawk Moody, guarded by Kirsten Moore, shoots, misses. Ball is still in play, tip ball, and it's gonna go to the Jeff Cats. So far, a lot, of, a lot of hustle back up and down the floor by both teams. Yeah, we see Jefferson, their defense against Lauren Hawk Moody so far has been Kirsten Moore kind of face guarding her, not allowing her to get the ball or making it very difficult for her. As we got Lauren French down low, but it looks like Nicole Nesby got a hand on it. Yeah, great defense by Nesby. She just played straight up, got the, the turnover for the Bulldogs. And now Grove's gonna try to set some things up here. Ruth Myers over to Palti. Palti looking for Hawk Moody. Good steal by Kirsten Moore for the Jeff Cats. 
And it's going to be a foul on Columbus Grove as Lindemann with the basketball. And we might get a little too aggressive on that one. Yeah, and a great steal there by Kirsten Moore, known for her defense on this team. Really, really does a good job of staying with Lauren Knock Moody and gets the turnover there. Now opportunity for Jefferson on the offensive end. So it's two to zero on the Hawker drywall and plastering scoreboard as the Columbus Grove Bulldogs with the lead here. French backing down the lane, but kicks it out to Lindemann. Lindemann, another try, and she's a little bit short. Ball still in play, good rebound by Moore. Lindemann thought about it again. She's gonna drive in the lane, takes it, and she's gonna get herself to the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken free throw line. Yeah, I believe if that's on 21, Kendall Palti, that will be two on her. Well, it looks like they called it on number five, Ruth Myers. So Lindemann will get two opportunities from the charity strike to get Jefferson on the board, and she does. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken and Lima, Walpock, and Delphus. You can call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lindemann, the second try up and good. Ties the game on the Hawker drywall and plastering scoreboard. Hawk Moody moving the basketball. This is Ruth Myers. Kicks it over to Nesby. Nesby driving the lane. Over to Abby Stickshull. He's got Myers here trying the triple. Just a little long. Both teams struggling from behind the arc so far. We haven't seen a triple fall just yet. But they're not afraid to shoot it. Off Moody. Off the dribble. Gets it over to Nesby. Columbus Grove being very patient with the basketball. Kendall Paldy trying to set things up. Coach Brian Traders giving instructions. Nice give and go to Nesby, but it's going to be a turnover. And that's Maddie Burst with a good pass up to Liv Lindemann for the easy bucket. Jeff Katz quickly at the basketball court. Take the 4-2 to two lead on the Hawker drywall scoring. Off Moody off the dribble, and man, she drills a Ricker lawn and landscape three-pointer. Well, we saw a good screen up top. Gave Achmedi a little bit of space there, and she's able to knock it down, but a steal here by Columbus Grove, and it's Achmedi unable to make it, and it looks like we have a tie-up. So far, one of the things I'm noticing right now, both teams pretty even. I mean, they, you can tell they're, they're a little tight, you know, the shooting's a little off. You know, both teams playing aggressive defense, and the offense is struggling to figure things out. Yeah, it takes a few minutes for both teams to kind of, as you said, feel each other out. You know, but you can see both teams, as you said, kind of dominated by, you know, their, their one star player. But, you know, both of them a little bit of tight, but I can imagine they're just starting to warm up here. And now we have it. Defense here, Liv Lindemann versus Lauren Ockmoody. So Ockmoody comes off the screen, gets into the lane. Nice rebound by Nesby, and she pushes this Columbus Grove lead to three on the Hawker drywall and plastering scoreboard. Jefferson breaks the press. This is Caroline Mueller. Kicks it over to Kirsten Moore, and that's going to be a turnover on the Jeff Cats. Yeah, Kirsten Moore did a little bit too quick there on that move. Saw her teammate was a little bit open, but passed it behind her. So turnover for the Wildcats. So far, I've got three turnovers for the Wildcats in this first quarter. Lauren Achmoody. She kicks the ball over to Jade Seifer, who's entered the game. Over to Allison Thompson as Coach Schrader went to his sixth and seventh players on the bench tonight. And we're going to have a call down here. It looks like we're going to get an out of bounds call on the Columbus Grove Bulldogs. Three good officials tonight Chris Ewald, Brian Schoonover, James Stoll for this Northwest Conference matchup with a lot on the line. Both teams playing for a share, potentially, of the Northwest Conference. Well, one of them will walk out of here with a conference title shared or not. And so, Josiah mentioned earlier, it seems like every year this game depends on these two teams. Triple try by Jefferson, just a little long. Nice rebound by Ava Schrader. Yeah, Jefferson struggling a little bit from beyond the arc. Comes in as a team shooting 32% from the three. Unable to knock one down here yet so far. 
Columbus Grove being extremely patient on offense. Jade Seifker kicks it over to Allison Thompson. Thompson over to Off Moody. Lauren Off Moody being guarded by Kirsten Moore. She's going to pull things out. Moore gets, almost gets the turnover. Off Moody saves it. Good defense by Kirsten Moore off the screen. Off Moody triple try. Just a little bit strong off the iron. And we've seen Grove go to that play a little bit, that screen from Nesby, allowing Lauren Ockmoody a little bit of space, was able to knock down the last one, unable on that last try. Oh, missed shot by Jefferson's Lindemann, but Johnny on the spot, that's Maddie Burris, follows it up there. It shrinks this Columbus Grove lead on the Hawker drywall and plastering scoreboard, seven to six. Yeah, Maddie Burris doing a good job of crashing the boards. On the back side, the ball comes right to her, and she's able to put it in for the easy two. Off Moody, driving the lane, thought about the triple try. They're going to pull things out. This is Elise Fortman with the basketball now. She's looking for Nesby. She's going to kick it over to Jade Seifer. Seifer, backdoor cut by Off Moody. Nice pass, but just a miss, and a good rebound by Lauren French. Yeah, good backdoor cut by Lauren Off Moody. Thought she was going to knock down the easy layup, but plays it up a little bit too hard, and ball goes back to the Wildcats. Corner triple try, Caroline Mueller tried to miss it. Another good rebound by Maddie Burris, but this can't get it to fall. Yeah, Maddie Burris crashing the boards once again. Maybe thought Nesby was a little bit closer than what she was, and goes up a little bit quick and unable to knock it down. So Lauren Ockmoody gets herself an opportunity to go to the Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw line. I haven't seen Columbus Grove really driving the lane and getting those opportunities at the free throw line just yet. So this will be Ockmoody's first chance to add on to this Columbus Grove lead. Ockmoody steps to the line and drills her first free throw attempt. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. You can call Lee's for all of your catering needs. It's Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. We appreciate their sponsorship tonight of our free throws here on WOSN. Off Booty, second one, pushes the Bulldog lead to 9-6 to six on the drywall, Hawker drywall and plastering scoreboard. Lindemann driving, finds Maddie Burris. Burris thought about it for a minute. And now it's Caroline Mueller. Mueller with the basketball. 14 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Looking for Liv Lindemann. Lindemann with the basketball. All would assume she's going to take this final shot. Lindemann does not, is not afraid of where to shoot. And boy, she just knocks down a Ricker Lawn and Landscape triple to tie the game at nine. It's the Columbus Grove Bulldogs nine and the Douglas Jefferson Wildcats nine. We'll have more second quarter action coming up here on WOSN. WOSN, we want to thank Ricker Lawn and Landscape for all of your car care, your lawn care needs, including fertilization and weed control programs, aerating, hydro seeding, irrigation service, and insulation and more. You can contact Ricker Lawn and Landscape. As we've seen, Liv Lindemann drill the Ricker Lawn and Landscape triple, as Josiah Stover says in the break, from the J <laughs> to tie the score up. Another triple try. Fight. The Jeff Cats and Maddie Burris. She's tried a couple times, and now she finally converts on the Ricker Lawn and Landscape three-pointer. Yeah, we saw that being set up, and a great block there by Liv Lindemann on the other side. But as we saw that play coming out of the quarter, the ball set up a good, good double screen for Maddie Burris. Her feet were set and knocked down the big three, three-point lead now. So the momentum has shifted already as. Delphus Jefferson started a little, a little bit sluggish shooting-wise, and they've really knocked down a couple shots lately. Nice defense by Lauren French. She creates a turnover for the Jeff Cats. Yeah, Lauren French and working really hard against Nicole Nesby. Got around her, got a hand on it, forced the turnover, and now an uh, errant pass from Liv Lindemann. Ball goes back to Grove. She's looking for Maddie Burris. And just a little bit over Burris's head. And so with seven minutes to go here in the second quarter, with the Northwest Conference title on the line. 
Columbus Grove battling Delphus Jefferson. Driving the lane is Kendall Pauly. What a great pass for Nicole Nesby, and Nesby's going to get herself an opportunity to go to the free throw line. Yeah, and we saw that screen up top by Lauren Ockmoody. A little bit of change. Usually she's the one coming off of that screen, but she screened for Palti. Palti drove to the lane, found Nesby, just unable to knock down the layup after the contact. So Nicole Nesby at the least famous recipe chicken free throw line. Misses her first. She's going to get another opportunity here. Nesby is up and just a little bit too much. Lauren French with another big rebound. She quickly gets the ball to Lindemann, who's double teamed here with the light press, and they're going to extend that defense, and Lindemann dribbles right through them all, and takes it all the way, and just misses the shot in the lane. Kendall Baldy with the basketball. She's in transition, trying to get herself to the free throw line, and Maddie Burris, big stop for the Jeffcats. Yeah, it looked like Paulty was going to have an easy layup. Matty Burris hustles back. Now we get a deep three. Look like wide right by Liv Lindemann. She gives a little smile over to the bench, <laughs> knowing that doesn't happen very often. But ball goes back to Groove. But a great play there by Matty Burris on the other end, hustling back and getting a hand on that ball. So Lauren Ockmoody will bring things up for the Bulldogs. Kendall Paulty, Paulty over to Stecksholdy. Stecksholdy now to Myers. Myers looking inside to Nicole Nesby. I'll tell you, Grove has been extremely patient on the offensive side of the ball. Yeah, and ultimately, no, we know where the, they want the ball to go, but Grove, as you said, working the ball back and forth, trying to get it into Alkmoody's hands, which they do. Jefferson do, does a good job of double teaming her right away. But now Grove back into their set. And it looks like this will be a turnover. Great defense by the Wildcats. Adolphus Jefferson just aggressive as we see Allison Thompson re-enter the game for Grove, but aggressive extending that defense and it was almost seems like Grove started to get frustrated there. Yeah, well, Kirsten Moore is doing a great job face guarding Lauren Ockwoody. You know, you can tell her job tonight is just make it difficult for her. And so far in this first half, she's done a really good job at it. So Lindemann in the corner being guarded by Thompson. Looking inside to French. French with the basketball. Kicks it to the corner. Mueller, Mueller. Back out to Moore. Moore over to Lindemann. Lindemann drives baseline. Nice pass to Lauren French. French misses, gets her own rebound. Goes up again and gets it this time on the Hawker drywall and plastering scoreboard. Yeah, what a pass there by Lindemann. Drives. Draws those two defenders, finds French. French just wanted to add to her stats there, get an extra rebound, but puts it in for the Jefferson. Here comes Liv Linden back the other way. Looks like Brian Schooner was going to say that she traveled. It looks like she did just a little bit there. Maybe thought it could have been a foul or a travel, but she, she drew her foot there right at the end, and it would have been a sweet looking play if not so. I was waiting. I've been waiting. You know, we're in the second quarter. Under five minutes to go here at Delphus Jefferson High School. Delphus Jefferson, Columbus Grove, Northwest Conference Girls Championships on the line. This is Ruth Myers. Yeah, we see Jefferson switch their defense up. Now going to look like, oh, it looks like they call a foul on Lyndon in there, but look like they're almost in a diamond in one, or a box in one. Lindemann just couldn't move her feet quite fast enough, and Ockley was trying to get around her, and got her with the foul. It's Liv Lindemann's first. So far, been a pretty clean game, too. I mean, both teams are, I mean, as aggressive as it's been, it's been clean and, and well played. This is Kendall Paldy. Paldy thinks about it, but Coach Brian Schrader is going to go ahead and call a timeout, and we are going to call a timeout as well. 14 to 9 on the Hawker Drywall Plaster and Scoreboard. It's Delta Jefferson over Columbus Grove. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Welcome back to WSN. We want to thank tonight's scoreboard sponsor. It's Hawker Drywall and Plastering. 
you can visit us at parkerdrywall.com to see how we can help you. We appreciate their sponsorship of our scoreboard this evening. It is 14-9 on the Hawker Drywall scoreboard. Nice drive there by Allison Thompson, but a turnover for the Jetcats. Lindemann ends up with it. She tries to get the ball down to Kirsten Moore. Nice pass underneath to Mueller. Mueller almost turned the ball over as well. Good defense by Columbus Grove, and it looks like Denise Lindemann's gonna go ahead and get a timeout as well. We're gonna just stay right here for this timeout, Josiah. What are some of the things you're noticing offensively and defensively for both teams? Yeah, for Jefferson, um, you know, they're trying to push the ball. You know, they're, Columbus Grove is double teaming Liv Lindemann right away. So they're really trying to push the ball up, seeing if they can find those shooters. There's a lot of space up there, especially with that high 2-3 zone that Columbus Grove has been playing so far. So they're trying to get the ball up quickly, finding those shooters, you know, making it, making somebody else beat them besides Liv Lindemann. For Grove, you know, try and get the ball to Lauren Ock Moody, but mm -hmm. the Jefferson defense has been really good so far, limiting her touches when she does, forcing her out or double teaming her when they can. So, you know, both teams just trying, still trying to figure out each other, yeah. figure out what they're doing. And, you know, you can scout each other all you want. You've seen, you know, these girls know each other. They've played against each other. The coaches do. But like you said, just still getting in the, in the feel of the game, it takes a while to get going on both sides as we see Liv Lindemann. Beautiful pass to Lauren French. And she puts it in, pushing this Delphus Jefferson lead to seven. And now Columbus Grove trying to figure some things out. They've been stifled offensively by the Jefferson defense the last few possessions. This is Kendall Paulding getting it over to Thompson. Thompson now tries the shot, misses. Good rebound by Jade Seeker. Triple try from the corner. Lauren Moody, Ricker Lawn and Landscape triple. Well, breaking that 7-0 run by the Wildcats and almost a turnover. Looks like they're going to call a foul. They're on number 14, Allison Thompson. But you see the skill of Lauren Ockmoody. That was a tough shot. Kirsten Moore had a hand in her face, but it's just that step back three that she does so well in the corner, knocks it down, you know, stops kind of this bleeding that was happening for this offensive Columbus Grove. But here comes Liv Lindemann coming back. Lindemann from the free throw line, and it's nothing but net. Liv Lindemann. And one of the things I've noticed quickly is both Lauren Ockmoody and Liv Lindemann, they, they will shoot whenever, wherever, off the dribble, feet set, it doesn't matter. That is really tough to defend. Well, both these players have been leading their teams really since they were freshmen playing varsity time. So they're used to being in these big, big moments here. It's a wide open shot by Abby Stecholdy. The Paldy rebound on the backside. Nice. Job by Kendall Pony. Pump fake. Gets the defender off of her feet and cuts the lead to four on the Hawker Drywall scoreboard. Nice job, Kendall Pony. Jefferson will walk the ball up the floor. Lindemann. He's got it over to Maddie Burris. Burris thought about it. And it's going to pull the trigger on that triple. In and out. Good rebound by Allison Thompson. Yeah, and I think Columbus Grove will be okay with that. Off the dribble three by someone other than Liv Lindemann. So they're okay with that shot. But, you know, can they find some offense outside of Ock Moody? Haven't been able to find it here in these last five or six minutes of the game. Nice take to the rim by Allison Thompson. Just misses and a good rebound by Lauren French. And Thompson's going to foul French. And Jefferson's going to maintain possession. A couple substitutions for Columbus Grove. We've got Ruth Myers coming back in the game. Elise Fortman. Lindemann kicks it up to Maddie Burris. Burris looking inside for Lauren French. French over to Kirsten Moore. Moore thought about it. Dribble penetration here. Kicks it out to Mueller. Caroline Mueller misses the triple and off Moody's off to the races. Pulls up for the jump shot, just a little bit long. And Lindemann's there for the rebound. They are up and down the floor. Lindemann drives, kicks it back. Here's the more inside to Lauren French. French going against Nicole Nesby. And they're going to get Nicole Nesby on a foul. Nice take by Lauren French. 
And that's Nicole Nesby's second foul in the last minute here. We'll see what Coach Schrader decides to do. You know, a team that doesn't have a whole lot of size off the bench, so especially defending Lauren French, who knocks down that first free throw. Is he going to leave her in for the remaining 124 here in this first half? So Lauren French gets her second opportunity from the Lee's Famous Recipe chicken free throw line. She converts, pushing this Jefferson lead to 20 to 14 on the Hawker Drywall scoreboard. Almost a minute to go here. It's been up and down and back and forth, and Delphus Jefferson holding on to a six-point advantage as Columbus Grove trying to get something going here. Triple try from the corner by Stekshaw, he missed, but a good rebound by Lauren Ockmoody. Ockmoody tried to throw the ball off of one of the Jefferson defenders, but it ends up in Liv Lindemann's hands, and she's going to go all the way to the hole and gets it to fall. Liv Lindemann. I oh, just saw the speed there of Liv Lindemann with the ball in her hand. It was one on four there. You could tell she was going to go to the rim no matter what. <laughs> Beats three of the defenders down the floor. Draws some contact. An opportunity now for a three-point play. So Lindemann, nothing but net from the Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw line. Pushing this lead to nine for the Jeff Cats. Columbus Grove trying to get something going before this end of the first half here. Steck Schulte with the basketball. Looking for Auk Moody, being guarded by Kirsten Moore. Good defense by the Jeff Cats. Columbus Grove swings the ball around. Triple try from Ruth Myers. Overshoots. Nicole Nesby almost saved it, but Kirsten Moore comes up with it. 30 seconds to go here as Delphus Jefferson holding on to this nine point lead. And good defense by Columbus Grove. And Ruth Myers creates a turnover. Yeah, good defensive play there by Ruth Myers. Jefferson wanted to hold for that last shot of the half. She gets into Liv Lindemann a little bit, knocks the ball off of her. Ball goes back to Grove. So Grove with 15 seconds to go here. In the first quarter, it's Auk Moody. One would think she would be the one taking this final shot. Lauren Auk Moody in the lane. Great move. Converts Lauren Auk Moody. Liv Lindemann, final shot of the half, goes up, misses. No, Lauren French gets it and converts, and they say it counts. Great rebound by Lauren French, and that pushes the Jeff Cat lead back to nine as the Delta Jefferson Wildcats hold on to a 25 to 16 lead over the Columbus Grove Bulldogs on the Hawker Drywall Class 3 scoreboard. We'll be back with third quarter action. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. this year included fertilization and weed control programs, aeration, hydro seed and irrigation service, and insulation and more. It's Ricker Lawn and Landscape, our three-point sponsor tonight. We start the second half with Lauren Ockmoody with the basketball, drawing the foul on the Jefferson Wildcats. And as we uh, take a peek at the scoreboard tonight on the Hawker Drywall scoreboard, it's the Jeff Cats 25 and the Columbus Grove Bulldogs 16. Josiah, what are our coaches talking about at halftime? Yeah, well, I think for Jefferson, you have to be happy with their defense, limiting Lauren Ockmoody. You know, still had nine points there in the first half, but made it very difficult for her, you know, to really get anything easy. She sh shot a couple of long shots, you know, but they have to be happy. You know, for Columbus Grove, has got to find somebody else besides Lauren Ockmoody um, that can contribute on the scoreboard. You know, as I said, Lauren Ockmoody with those first half points. The only other player, Kevin Polt, or Kendall Palti, only had four points and two points from Nicole Nesby, which starts off the half good. Exactly what you were talking about. Getting others involved is they're going to get Ruth Myers with the foul here. But Ockmoody, I wouldn't say shut down, but you know, she, like you said, great defense. A lot of that great defense comes from Kirsten Moore from Delphus Jefferson. but. Nicole Nesby there getting on the scoreboard and, and limiting this lead to seven now. 
Yeah, because this Jefferson defense really only has to focus so far on Akmudi. A big three or second of the night from Matty Burris. But if nobody else is really being aggressive, this defense can focus all on Lauren Akmudi. Missed shot by Akmudi, rebound by Lindemann. And Jefferson's going to move the basketball up the floor. This is Caroline, Carolyn Mueller. Basketball, now Liv Lindman. He's gonna get a screen from Lauren French. Kicks it over to Maddie Burris. Burris has hit a couple nice shots tonight. A couple of Hawker drywall, excuse me, Ricker Lawn and Landscape triples. Another triple try by Lindemann, missed. Good rebound by Columbus Grove. It's Abby Stecksholdy, she's moving the ball up the court to Nicole Nesby. Nesby gets her fourth point of the half. And Nicole Nesby, I think they may have found an answer to spread the ball around. Yeah, well, I'm sure Coach Schrader in halftime was telling you, got to be more aggressive as Burris shoots the three, gets her own rebound, but unable to crowd the ball here as Pulte goes back. And nice. Nesby once again finding the basketball. Six points here for Columbus Grove. Yeah, Nicole Nesby's been looked for and then just been on the spot, you know, doing a great job offensive rebounding. Six points for her in the second half. And Nicole Nesby doing a great job for Columbus Grove. She's got eight total. Now some Douglas Jefferson trying to set something up as Grove has uh, limited this lead to six. This is Maddie Burris. Burris trying to make something happen. Almost last, lost the basketball. Gets it over to Lindemann in the corner. Lindemann kicks it out to Moore. Moore inside to French. French to Lindemann. Triple try. Just a little bit long, and rebound comes to Ock Moody. Ock Moody pushing it up the floor. She gets it to Pulte. Pulte, nice move, Kendall Pulte. And that cuts this Delphus Jefferson lead to four on the Hawker drywall and plastering scoreboard. It's Delphus Jefferson 28 and Columbus Grove 24. It's a timeout on the floor, and it's going to be a timeout here. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. WSN, our scoreboard sponsor tonight is Hawker Drywall and Plastering. You can visit us at hawkerdrywall.com to see how we can help you. We want to thank Hawker Drywall and Plastering for sponsoring our scoreboard tonight. Well, Josiah Stober, Columbus Grove has come out of the half, and they have answered everything that Delta Jefferson has given them. Yeah, it's really been them running the floor, getting some defensive rebounds. Number 14, Allison Thompson, foul against Liv Lindemann. But as I was saying, you know, just running the floor, Nicole Nesby getting some easy layups. Uh, we saw Palti running the floor, you know, so getting some easy buckets. You know, they once again, the half court has been very difficult, but they're finding those easy ways, you know, to get some points on the board. So Lindemann gets herself to the Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw line. She hits the first one. Second opportunity is missed, and Nesby comes down with the rebound. Well, Nesby's had a really good start to her third quarter. As Columbus Grove is going to try to cut this Delphus Jefferson lead. In the game four, Grove is Allison Thompson. Thompson swings it over to Jake Seeker. Seeker triple try misses, and a good rebound there by Carolyn Mueller. Mueller gets it up to Kirsten Moore. Moore back to Mueller. She's going to get it to Lindemann, and Delphus Jefferson's going to set things up. Liv Lindemann spins. She's going to fire it over to the corner. Maddie Burris. Burris looking inside for French. Burris now is going to get another triple try. Burris misses, but a good rebound by Lauren French. French misses, shoots and misses, and Ock Moody comes down with the rebound. A lot going on there that time, Josiah. It's a triple try from the corner from Jay Seeker. She's a little bit short, but she gets her own rebound, and now we're going to get a foul on the Jeff Cats. Maybe an inadvertent foul, but regardless, they're going to get Maddie Burris for that one. Slew of substitutions here. As we see some substitutions, but we're going to get a timeout on the floor, and we're going to take a timeout as well. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. And as we've got a good one tonight, Delphus Jefferson on top of Columbus Grove, 29 to 24 on the Hawker Drywall 
scoreboard. Columbus Grove with the opportunity to cut this lead. Missed shot, but Nicole Nesby, she's done everything in this third quarter for the Bulldogs. Gets the offensive rebound and gives Columbus Grove new life. Nesby inside going, inside at Lauren Fridge. Nicole Nesby left hand and all cuts this Jeff Cat lead to three. Yeah, what a sweet move there by Nesby. Going up right away with her left hand against Lauren French. 10 points now, eight points here in the second half. And Jefferson answers with Liv Lindemann. They go right to her and she takes it right to the lane. And she's gonna get herself an opportunity for the old style three point play. Well, and you can see, you know, those type of players that know when Columbus Grove starting to get a little bit of the momentum here <laughs> in this game. Liv Lindemann realizing she needs to make a play. Catches the ball, attacks the rim. Opportunity now here as she knocks down the free throw. So Lindemann has 16 points. A big free throw for Lindemann there. Pushing this lead back to six. Almost a turnover for Columbus Grove, and it is a turnover. A steal by the Wildcats, and they're up the floor. Liv Lindemann, free throw attempt, and she's got it. Quickly, Liv Lindemann has shut down any of Columbus Grove's momentum. Off Moody, Euro step, and they're gonna get a foul. They're gonna say that's on the floor. Yeah, Lauren Ockwood has been quiet here in the third quarter. It's been Nicole Nesby with the offense. But we saw Lauren Ockmoody with the mindset she was gonna attack the rim there. She does get, get the ball in, yep. Steck Schulte, who kicks it over to Allison Thompson. And Allison Thompson hits the Ricker Long and Landscape three-point attempt, big points for Allison Thompson. Well, we're gonna have to see these role players step up for both teams. You know, as both teams defending each other's first-team all-conference players, so far, we've seen some of those players step up there. A great cut by Liv Lindemann as we have a blocking call as Lauren Ockmoody tried to step in and take that charge. Official said she wasn't set, so Liv Lindemann will return back to the free throw line. Lindemann will get two Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken free throws, and you know, I think one of the things is it's, it's really tough to draw an offensive foul on Liv Lindemann because she is so skilled around the bucket. You know, she knows when to set her feet and how to move her body. Yeah, she's used to players running at her all the time, <laughs> so saw the defender coming and was able to shift to the side there. And she's able to knock down one of two free throws. So Lindemann converts on the league's famous recipe chicken free throw. Two minutes and almost 30 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Jefferson 35, Rove 29. Nicole Nesby, sweet pass from Abby Stecholdy. It's been the Nicole Nesby show this quarter. Yeah, what a good pass. Finding her outstretched arm, led her right to the basket, able to knock down the two. Jefferson trying to answer on the Hawker drywall scoreboard, and it's going to be a turnover. Yeah, Lindemann. Lauren Ockman got her hands in there on the pass from Liv Lindemann. Knocked it away from Lauren French. Turnover there. Now it looks like we'll, we'll have a travel on number 14, Allison Thompson. Both teams trade turnovers here. And, you know, I wouldn't say it's been quiet in the gym tonight, but it's starting to, you can start to hear the crowds get into it because it's starting to become crunch time here with two minutes to go in the third quarter. And, it's also the gym. I think the temperature went up about 10 degrees since halftime. Lindemann gets it over to Mueller. Mueller in the corner to Moore. Moore gets it over to French. Lauren French to Burris. Maddie Burris, triple try, just misses. And it's going to fall into the hands of Kendall Paldy. Good rebound by Paldy, who brings the ball up the floor. Grove is now maintaining possession here, trying to get a good look, looking for Nicole Nesby. She's been the hot one this quarter. Skip pass over to Abby Stecholdy. She gets it back to Paldy. Paldy thought about it for a minute. Now a triple try by Myers, just a little bit long, and a good rebound there by Mueller. Mueller with the basketball, getting pressure. She's gonna get it to Maddie Burris. Burris is gonna try the triple, misses. Lauren French there, 
Lauren French tries another rebound for the Jeff Cats, and Burris misses another one, and we just traded baskets back and forth, and now Ruth Myers will have the basketball for Columbus Grove. Kendall Pony thought about the triple, drives the lane, beautiful pass to Nesby. Nicole Nesby cuts this Jeff Cat lead to two. 14 points, 12 here in the second half. It's been the Nicole Nesby show. As we said, after halftime, we got, Columbus Grove's got to find somebody else to really dent that scoreboard. And Nicole Nesby's been that player tonight. Liv Lindemann thought about the deep triple. And with about 30 seconds to go here, we got ourselves a ball game. Delphus Jefferson's hung on to a seven, eight, nine point lead most of this game. And now Grove has cut this lead to two. Lindemann by feeling the pressure, nice pass to French. French in the lane, gets it to fall for the Jeff Cats on the Hawker drywall scoreboard. Yeah, and that puts Lauren French up to 10 points. Maddie Burris doing a good job of stepping in front of Nesby. It slides out of bounds, 9.3 seconds to go. Let's see if Columbus Grove can get the ball into Ockmoody's hands. Hawk Moody inbounds the basketball to Stecholdy. Stecholdy to Kendall Pauldy. Pauldy, the triple try. Oh, she banks it in on the Ricker lawn and landscape triple. Final shot for the quarter won't go. And Columbus Grove roars back from the deficit. It's the Delta Jefferson Wildcats 37, the Columbus Grove Bulldogs 36. Fourth quarter action coming up here. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Welcome back to WSN High School Girls Basketball. We want to thank our three four sponsors tonight, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Walpock, Delphus, and St. Mary's. We also want to thank our scoreboard sponsor tonight, Hawker Drywall and Plastering. You can visit them at hawkerdrywall.com. We appreciate our sponsors giving us support here at WSN. Josiah Stover, John Zerby here with you. Fourth quarter action, 37-36. Josiah, this has turned into a really close battle. Yeah, and you have to like what Columbus Grove did in that quarter, finding ways to get easy buckets in transition. You know, for a team that focuses so much on Lauren Ockmoody, didn't score there in the third quarter. It was all Nicole Nesby and Kendall Palti knocking down some big shots, making some easy layups for this Columbus Grove team. First thing you said out of the gate was they got to find other people to score, and they sure did. As the triple try by Jefferson, just a little bit long. Good rebound by Lauren French. Almost a turnover. Gets it inside to Kirsten Moore. Moore inside the lane. Misses, but she's going to get an opportunity to go to the free throw line. Yeah, foul on Nicole Nesby. You know, the taller player there looked like she was in good position there. You know, but every anytime you put your arms down just a little bit, the officials are looking for that. Even if you don't make a whole lot of contact, they're going to call that foul. And, Kirsten Moore an opportunity to step to the free throw line. So Kirsten Moore will go to the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken free throw line. She'll miss the first. And one of the things about that foul, Josiah, is that is Nicole Nesby's fourth with the whole quarter to go here. And we'll see if Jefferson tries to get the ball into Lauren French knowing that Nesby has those four fouls as Kirsten Moore knocks down one of two. So Kirsten Moore adds on to that lead, pushing it to two on the Hawker drywall and plastering scoreboard. This is Lauren Ockmoody. Abby steps shoulder to Ruth Myers. Myers to Kendall Palti. Palti looking for Nicole Nesby. Thought about driving baseline. Gets it back to Lauren Ockmoody. Ockmoody in the lane. Jump shot, misses. Rebound stays to Ockmoody. Ockmoody misses once again, and Lauren French is gonna pull away a big rebound for the Jeff Cats as Liv Lindemann is already off to the races, takes it all the way. Liv Lindemann, badly needed points for Delphus Jefferson. Yeah, 21 points on the night. You can just see her, once she gets past half court, knowing that she, even if she doesn't have the number, she's going to attack the rim, was able to get by the defender and make the two to extend this lead now to four. So Columbus Grove slowing this tempo down a little bit. Looking inside from Nicole Nesby, it's Kendall Paldy with the basketball. Now Abby Stecholdy gets it over to Ruth Myers. Myers being patient. Delphus Jefferson playing great defense. Coach Denise Lindemann done a wonderful job here at Delphus Jefferson in her five years. 
That's head coach, is this Lauren Ockmoody misses another jump shot. Ball was tried to be saved by Ruth Myers, but it's going to be Delta Jefferson basketball. Yeah, Lauren Ockman getting a little frustrated, not able to knock down her last couple shots, but you got to give it to Kirsten Moore. She's been on her almost all night, making it difficult. Just getting your hand in her face there. We'll see what Jefferson opportunity to extend this lead as Lauren French hits from the free throw line. Maddie Burst once again with the offensive rebound, not able to knock it down. We've had a lot of knockdown shots tonight, but a lot of missed shots as well as Ruth Myers gets this opportunity. Nicole Nesby battles for the offensive rebound. Rebound gives Columbus Grove new life on offense as Lauren Ock Moody being guarded by Kirsten Moore. Moore done an incredible job on Ock Moody tonight. Going to get a high screen from Nesby. Lauren Ock Moody thought about the triple. Gets it over to Steck Schulte. Steck Schulte over to Myers. Myers looking for Kendall Paldy. Paldy. Turns the ball over. Liv Lindemann off to the races. She's going to take it all the way. Liv Lindemann pushes this Delphus Jefferson lead to 42 to 36 on the Hawker Drywall Class Green scoreboard. They're going to have a timeout on the floor, so we're going to take a timeout here. And you're watching High School Basketball on WSN. Welcome back to WSN. We want to thank Rick for Lawn and Landscape for all your lawn care needs, including fertilization and weed control programs, aeration, hydro seeding, irrigation service, and installation and more. You can contact Rick or Lawn and Landscape. We want to thank them for sponsoring our three point tonight, the three point shot. So Columbus Grove had cut this lead to one, but now Delta Jefferson back to a six point lead. Lauren Ockmoody has struggled tonight, and Liv Lindemann brings the wood and knocks the ball down. What a good block by Lindemann. Yeah, it looked like Ockmoody was going to have an easy layup there. Liv Lindemann able to rise, knock that ball away. Back to Columbus Grove. Grove. The focus on Nicole Nesby that third quarter. Had a breakout quarter. Jefferson did a little bit better job on her, but Nesby once again uses her athletic ability and cuts this lead to four. Yeah, we've seen that move a couple times. Goes to her right, comes back to her left. Able to go against the taller Lauren French. Lays it off the glass and cuts this lead now down to four. So Delphus Jefferson trying to cling to this four-point lead here with Almost four minutes to go here in the fourth quarter in the Northwest Conference. Conference championship on the line. Jefferson with the basketball, almost a turnover there. As uh, Maddie Burris now controls the basketball. Back to Lindemann. Lindemann is going to get herself to the free throw line. And boy, these are just tough baskets to get. Yeah, Allison Thompson tried to draw some contact against Liv Lindemann. Official was standing right there, let it go, and the pro player came across her. Some big free throws here, see if they can continue to extend this lead. As Liv Lindemann knocks down the first one. Well, I don't think he'd want anybody else there at the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken free throw line, other than Liv Lindemann. Lindemann will get her second opportunity here to potentially move this lead to six, and she does. 25 points for Liv Lindemann. It's about average. It's yeah. about average for her, right? A normal night. Lauren Ockmoody driving. Good defense by Delphus Jefferson, and they're going to get a foul on Carolyn Mueller. And that's only the first foul here in the fourth quarter against Jefferson. So, as you said, pretty clean game. Neither team really in foul trouble besides Nicole Nesby with four. Feel like both teams as uh, Grove commits that turnover and Lindemann is back on the run, trying to get herself to the free throw line, but she doesn't need to because she converts in transition. Liv Lindemann pushes this Jeff Cat lead to eight. With the low fouls tonight, and, you know, clean play from both teams as Lauren Ockmoody hits the Ricker Lawn and Landscape triple. Comes from really great coaching on both sides. Yeah, absolutely. And Lauren Ockmoody, first bucket here in the second half. 13 points now on the night. 
And you're wondering when she get a little space and get an opportunity to knock down a shot there. And we have a blocking foul against Ock Moody on Liv Lindemann. You know, I think we, we see Lindemann as this player who, she's athletic, she can, she's fast, she can move, she can do all these things, but she's so quick, too. I mean, that's the thing. It's so hard for them, for Loma Scrove, to set their feet because she's so quick to the rim. Yeah, great body control. You know, can go right, can go left. You know, as you said, you know, it's just difficult to get in front of her because she that first step is so quick. You know, she handles the ball well. She tacks the rim well as she does there. <laughs> One on five. It doesn't matter. It's Liv Lindemann pushing this Jefferson lead to seven on the Hawker drywall scoreboard. Jefferson smells a share of the Northwest Conference title. But Lauren Akmudi trying to keep them from that as she's going to get herself a foul here. They're going to get that one. Looks like Abby Stecksholdy. Foul on Liv Lindemann. I believe that's who they called it yep. on. So Stecksholdy with the basketball. Back to Kendall Paldy. Two minutes, 40 seconds to go here. Grove needs to make up some ground. Steck she'll do with the basketball. She gets it over to Ruth Myers. Myers drives, and she's going to get a, a foul. And that's going to be on Carolyn Mueller. Three team fouls for both teams. Got to get to five to get to the free throw line. Two minutes to go. Plenty of time for that. Kendall Pauly cut the lane, tried to, Ock Moody tried to get her the pass in the lane, but they're going to get it back to her. Ock Moody, one on one with Kirsten Moore. Deep triple goes long, and Lindemann with a good rebound for the Jeff Cats. Yeah, you got to give a lot of props to Kirsten Moore tonight. Just making it difficult on Lauren Ock Moody all night. Just keeping in front of her. You know, she's strong, she understands her rule. It's, hey, I just got to play defense tonight. And she's done that tonight. Only one point, you know, but has just made it difficult on Lauren all night. I echo those praises because she's had a fantastic game. And Douglas Jefferson's going to take a timeout here. We're going to stay here. As we talked about this game, it's been back and forth. And you know, we've seen a great effort by Nicole Nesby, but at the end of the day, it's been Liv Lindemann constantly answering for Douglas Jefferson. Yeah, and anytime Columbus Grove really swung the momentum in their, their way, you know, Liv Lindemann's made a big bucket, you know, and whether it's been through some contact, you know, finishing a layup, you know, whether it's getting to the free throw line, you know, just doing a little bit of everything, has only hit one three on the night. Yeah. You know, 29 points, <laughs> only one three, you know, comes in two tonight, you know, shooting 44% from beyond the arc. You know, the type of player is, you know, she, she shot a couple, hasn't been really hot from that, knowing that she's got other facets of her game that she can do. And, you know, she's put that on display tonight. So Lindemann will control the basketball for Jefferson. Grove going to try to double team here to create a turnover. And they're going to get a foul on Kendall Paldy. Once again, Lindemann that first step, and it's just so tough to stay with her. It's going to be the fourth team foul for Grove. Not yet for the bonus for the Wildcats, so they're going to inbound the ball one more time. And you're, if you're in this situation, Josiah, is it time to foul? Well, one, two, three, almost got a timeout. Looks like what well, they call a jump ball, which they do. The ball will stay with Jefferson. Nope. Officials pointing at Will Grove, so a good stop there by Columbus Grove to get the ball back. You know, now it's time for Lauren Ockmoody. You know, whether it's that high screen, can they get her some looks at the rim? You know, it's time for her to really get into the second half. Ockmoody drives the lane. Nice take by Lauren Ockmoody. She just can't get it to fall. Lindemann comes down with a big rebound. She maintains control of the basketball, being swarmed by the Columbus Grove Bulldog defenders. She's just going to dribble out of their defense. And at this point, they're trying to get her into a position that they can foul her, and they finally do. It's going to be Abby Stecksholdy that's going to send Liv Lindemann to the free throw line. Yeah, Liv 
just dri dribbling around the Columbus Grove team, you know, not giving the ball up, knowing, you know, she's their best free throw shooter on the team, forcing Columbus Grove to foul her. And from now on, Jefferson will be at the free throw line on any foul. So a seven point lead on the Hawker drywall scoreboard. And that lead now goes to 8, 49, 41. Delphus Jefferson on top of Columbus Grove. As Liv Lindemann is at the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken free throw line. She's gonna try to add on to this lead, and she does. Liv Lindemann, she is solid. We're gonna have a timeout on the floor, so we're gonna take a timeout here as well. It's Columbus Grove 41, Delphus Jefferson 50. Final action coming up here on WOSN. We're back here at Delphus Jefferson High School, 50 to 41 on the Hawker drywall scoreboard. Delphus Jefferson in control of this basketball game against the Columbus Grove Bulldogs. And Columbus Grove is going to have to do something quickly here in the last minute 26 to get back into this basketball game. Lauren Oxmoody gets it over in the corner to Ruth Myers. Myers almost turns the ball over. Liv Lindemann, great defense for the jet pass. Yeah, Liv Lindemann reading that pass from Ruth Myers. Almost had it. Ball goes out of bounds off her. Here we go, Oxmoody. Step back three. Knocks it down. Wow. Lauren Oxmoody, that was absolutely beautiful. Dribble, step back three, and nothing but net. She hits the Ricker lawn and landscape triple. And it's going to be a full timeout here, so we'll take a timeout as well. If you're watching high school basketball on WOSN. Welcome back to High School Basketball on WOSN. You can stream the WOSN channel anytime, anywhere for only $8 per month. You can download this from your Roku or Apple TV, or you can always sign up at WOSN.TV. The final minutes of this Northwest Conference girls varsity basketball matchup, which has championship implications on the line right now. Jefferson has the view in sight, but Liv Lindemann turns the basketball over. Kendall Paulty, good steal for the Bulldogs. Lauren Ockmoody thought about it. She's going to get it over to Paulty. Paulty thought about it as well. Good defense by the Wildcats, and they're going to get a foul on the floor. I think the fans wanted them to shoot. Good patience by Columbus Grove. And Jefferson did a good job of getting back after that turnover. Looked like Alt Moody was ready to shoot. Ooh, hands on the ball. Good hands by Lauren French to knock that pass away. Ball comes to Liv Lindemann, just turns around, the ball's in her hands. Now we got a foul, and Liv Lindemann will go back to the free throw line. 53.9 seconds to go. Already 31 points on the night for Liv Lindemann. That's number four on Lauren Ockmoody. Great defense by Lauren Fred. She's been one tonight that, you know, even though she does have 10 points, and we've talked a lot about Liv Lindemann as she this is her first least famous recipe chicken free throw. Lauren French has done a really nice job on offense and on defense tonight. She's had a tall task guarding the Cool Nesby, but I really like her effort this evening. Lindemann answers her second free throw. And now under a minute to go. Columbus Grove in hurry up fashion. Lauren Ockmoody gets the ball over to Kendall Paulty. Paulty from the baseline misses. Good rebound by Nicole Nesby. Another opportunity for Grove. Triple try for the Bulldogs. Misses. That was Allison Thompson. And the ball is going to go out of bounds. And we're going to get a foul on the floor. Looks like the foul will be on Maddie Burris. Both her and Lauren Ockmoody were both battling for the ball, and Maddie Burris went down, and Ockmoody went over top of her, and Lauren Ockmoody will step to the free throw line with 36 seconds to go. And these are big free throws, able to score some points without any time coming off the clock. So Maddie Burris did a great job. 
wrestling. She's going to go off the floor with a little bit of a, an injury, but looks like she's going to be okay as Lauren Ockmoody misses her first of two Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken Free Throws. Kaya Kimmett's going to enter for Delphus Jefferson. Second opportunity, Ockmoody cuts the lead to six. 35 seconds to go. Liv Lindemann. I have a hard time believing she's going to give up the basketball. And that may be five on Lauren Ockmoody. And if so, it's going to be Coach Brian Schrader is going to have to get a sub. They've lost their leading score tonight with 31 seconds to go. Ockmoody going to finish this game with 17 points. Abby Stickshulty will check in for the Bulldogs. as Lindemann will step to the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken free throw line and get another opportunity to add on to this lead on the Hawker Drywall scoreboard. <laughs> Lindemann calm, cool, and collected, that's for sure. He's gonna get an opportunity for point number 34. And she makes it look easy. I think she took off running before she even seen the ball go through the hoop. She knew it. 53 to 45 on the Hawker drywall scoreboard. Take by Grove misses, but Nicole Nesby there doing a nice job. And Coach Brian Trader is going to call a timeout. And it's going to be a full timeout. So we're going to take a timeout here as well. Delphus Jefferson clinging to this six-point lead. You're watching high school basketball on WSM. on WSN, 21 seconds to go here in this final few seconds of this Northwest Conference matchup between Delphus Jefferson and Columbus Grove. Columbus Grove fighting every inch as they possibly can, but they're gonna foul Liv Lindemann once again, and Delphus Jefferson's not gonna end the ball, inbound the ball to anyone else but her. She's gonna go back to the least famous recipe chicken free throw line and try to add on to her point total as she hits the first one. 35 points, Josiah. Yeah, Liv's done a little bit of everything for this Jefferson team. I mean, we talked about it at the beginning. We just know her skill already, but you know, knowing this is such a big game, opportunity for the conference championship on the line, and she stepped up. So we have the missed opportunity there, but Kendall Pauly grabbed the rebound, but they're going to say that she traveled. And that's going to be another turnover for Columbus Grove. Jefferson's going to inbound the basketball here with a seven point lead. The ball is going to stay here with Jefferson. The ball is tipped. Jefferson going to maintain possession. This is Kirsten Moore, has had a fantastic game. She gets the ball into Maddie Burris. Burris back in the game. And Burris now going to get the opportunity to go to the free throw line with 14 seconds to go. Got a few other substitutions for Delphus Jefferson. Claire Brinkman's checked in the game. As Burris is going to the free throw line here to add on to the Delphus Jefferson lead. And she misses the first of the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken Free Throws. Burris averaging seven points a game. Hits the second of the free throw. She's got nine for tonight. So a little bit over her average. Nice game for Maddie Burris on the Hawker drywall scoreboard. Triple try by Pulte misses. Good rebound by Claire Brinkman. And now just with under five seconds to go, they're gonna let this one run out. And Delphus Jefferson's gonna get themselves at least a share of the Northwest Conference title. Congrats to Coach Denise Lindemann and the Delphus Jefferson Wildcats. What a fantastic game we've seen tonight, Josiah. Yeah, and it really was a team effort, you know, starting with Liv Lindemann, 35 points. You know, we talked about her a lot tonight. Just done a little bit of everything for this team, you know, but you got to give it up. Lauren French, 10 points, you know, some big buckets there in this game. You know, Maddie Burris above her season average, you know, coming in, having those nine points, but then Kirsten Moore, that defense we talked about tonight, you know, just made it difficult for Lauren Ockmoody, you know, just 
all over the place yeah. tonight. So really a team effort. Congrats to this Jefferson team. Yeah, congrats to Delta Jefferson as they will now move into the driver's seat of the Northwest Conference and they'll begin tournament play next week. Thank you for watching High School Basketball tonight on WSN. For all of you here, it's the final tonight, 55-47 on the Hawker Drywall scoreboard. I want to thank our sponsors as well as our fearless leader, Megan Sherrick, doing everything tonight for us. Josiah, she's making us look good, or I guess at least average. But we appreciate all that she does. We appreciate you watching the final. 55 for Delphus Jefferson, 47 for Columbus Grove. For Josiah Stover, this is John Zerby saying so long, everyone.